The peace of the Lord Jesus. I would like to kindly invite the church to stand up. We do this in reverence to the reading of the Bible, the Word of God. And tonight we're going to read in the New Testament, the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3. Our desire is that you, brethren, may pay attention to the following. Verse 4, the last phrase. Look to us. Look at us. Now we're going to sing a song, Tired Soul. The Bible tells us that Peter and John, two disciples of the Lord Jesus, they went up to the temple and the Bible says the following, the hour of prayer. And the Bible tells us that it was brought a uh, man who f that from the womb of his uh, mother he was he was lame he was crippled and every day they would place him according to the word at the door at the gate of the temple called beautiful and they would place him there so that he would beg 
to everyone that entered the temple. That was the only opportunity, the only chance that he had in the situation that he was in, no, on the situation he was in, was to sit at the gate and wait. Because as somebody was passing by, they would give him some money. And the board says that as he was seen, Peter and John, they were entering the temple. He was going to do the same thing that he has always done every day. When he noticed that someone was entering, he would beg. But what he didn't know was that was about to enter into the temple, two men that have a glorious experience with Jesus. They didn't know that this meeting of these two disciples with him was going to change their lives completely, change his life completely. He didn't know that this meeting was going to bring much more than what he was expecting to receive at that moment. He didn't know that that day was going to be a different going to be a different day in his life. And he didn't even imagine that what these two men have to give was much different than what he was used to receiving. My brethren, and this is what initially what I want to give the church tonight. Each one of us enter into this place, enter with needs, enter with the desire, enter wanting a, a blessing. I want to tell you, my brother, that every day the Lord has a bless blessing to give to our hearts. Every time we enter here, we don't live in the same way we entered, but we live differently, renewed, vivified, blessed. You know why? Because the one who blesses, he's, every night he's here in this place. And as they were entering the temple, Peter and John, he asked them to give him money. And now the word says that as Peter and John looking at him, they said, look to us. Remember what I said? Look at us. And now he was waiting to receive something. And I ask you, and what Peter and John had? What did they possess? Do they ha did they have gold, silver? They have possessions? And what if they did? It would not have, have uh, changed the life of that man that was on the ground there. And that's what I give worth in my life. The day when I had a meeting with the Lord Jesus and the day when you had this meeting, we experienced something that we had not experienced before. This meeting changed my life. It changed your life. Jesus Christ changed my life and yours. Because we were used to receive what everybody out there has and receives. But when we met Jesus, He gave us what we didn't know. I want to tell more what we actually needed looked to us and asked, what do we have? And now, when a man enters here in this place for the first time, 
and looks at the pastor uh, or the deacons and looks at you, I ask you the question, look at us. What do you expect from him? What do you expect from me? What do you expect from the pastor? What do you expect from the deacon? What do you expect from A and or B? Silver? Gold? What everyone else out there can give, and it doesn't resolve your problems. It doesn't remove sadness and anguish. It does not bring joy or uh, lasting peace. It does not resolve problems. It doesn't bless homes. It doesn't do the impossible. Man wants to receive what the world gives. That man was expecting what everyone else gave him. Some money. And the money they was expecting was little money, S something of little worth. But what God has to give you is something that is very precious, something that of great worth, is a, a pearl of great value. And uh, salvation is look look to us, and as he was expecting to receive something. Now Peter uses the scriptures. He said, I don't have sewer, I don't have gold, but what I have, now I'm going to make a little pause in the message. What do we have? Have we stopped to think of the blessing of the power of the blood of Jesus? We have salvation of the Lord. We have the joy of the Holy Spirit. We have a peace that the world do not give. We have fellowship among brothers. We have the revealed word. We have the baptism with the Holy Spirit. We have the spiritual gifts. We have our children in the presence of the Lord. Homes are blessed. We have our names written in the book of life. We have what the world doesn't have. The word is the following. When somebody enters here, I, I tell them, I don't have gold or silver, but what I have is this, and this is what I give you in the name. It was not in the name of Peter. In the name, it was not in the name of John, but in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. But we have power. And the power was given by Jesus to them. And I tell you, get up and walk. And at that day, he received what he was not expecting to receive from anybody that passed by, that gave him some money. The day I entered in a church like this, simple, and sat on one of those benches, when I was 16 years old of age, 16 years of age, I heard what, what I was not used to hearing. I received it that night, something that I was not used to receive. That's why, church, I invite you now to shout glory to God and give hallelujah because your brother has, you have everything, because whoever has Jesus has everything. Whoever has Jesus has everything that he may ever need. Look to us. That's the phrase of the church. That's the shout of the church. Look to us. When we we need when the afflict knocks at our door when the oppress is uh, next to us look at us look to us when somebody comes to uh, tell, tell you their, their troubles I tell you that I have a, a life blessed in your presence I have a God that at night I pray to him when everybody else is sleeping he pays attention to my prayer I have a God that delivers me, that blesses my home. I have a God that provides everything for me. And I have a God that loves me. Look to us. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. And that changed his life. It so changed that the Word tells us that he jumped, stood up, walked and did one thing he was at the gates of the temple now he entered and as he entered 
shouting and um, jumping, he says he did the following. He praised the name of the Lord. And that's the joy of the Lord towards His church. When the church lives this experience of telling the world, look what we have. And we, when we proclaim this, the Lord add to our lives to the flock those that He wants to save. It, tonight is a night of salvation. Tonight is a night of praises to the Lord. Tonight is a night of glorification because a brother can say, Look to us. I don't have gold or silver, but what I have, a life, an experience with Jesus, a meeting that changed my life. That's what I give you. And we give to someone what does good for us. And I want to close the message saying the following. Jesus does not do any evil thing to anybody. Jesus only does good to us. Look to us. Now we're going to sing, I'm uh, going to hear a song.
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. I'd like to invite this church to stand up. God has shown us, we were praying for the service. The Lord was showing that there was a lady that was going to enter this church. And this woman, she is very attached to the things of this world. But during the service, she would hear a message. And this message was going to change her understanding. And this is exactly what we need. What we have the greatest of greatest worth is salvation in Jesus. Nothing in this life can compare to the great love of God revealed in the person of the Lord Jesus. So this is what God has for you. And by faith now you will begin to look to your life, into your projects in a different way because now you have a direction of, from God. Now you know that what you need is eternity because there nothing will pass, nothing will extinguish and the Church of God has this commitment, has this responsibility to relay this. That's our message. We don't have anything other than the blessing of God upon us. We're not the ones who bless. We're not the ones who are better. What we have is the blessing of God. What we want is to be in the presence of God. Amen. So may God speak to our hearts. We're going to have now a word of praises to the Lord. Thankfulness for everything that He has done for the service tonight. One of the brethren may pray thanking the Lord. Lord, we want to thank you. Praise your name. Because tonight we heard your voice. We have received uh, the sustenance for our soul. We thank you, God, for each life that you awoke to be in your house. We thank you for your word. I spoke deeply to our hearts. We thank you for the worship because we know that tonight, this night, you sent your angels to be with us. Thank you, Lord, and praise you for this week that has passed, another week that is beginning, and we know that our God will be ahead of his people, guiding us towards eternity. Be with us every day, Lord. We praise you and adore you for our work, for the bread that we never lacked, and for the sustenance and assurance of salvation, Lord. Because one day, we're we were like this man that were was at the gate of the temple. We didn't know anything, but one day you opened up our eyes and showed us salvation. Thanks for this meeting that we had, our Lord. We praise you for everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive, Lord, our worship and adoration. Our service that is offered to you. My God, that this worship may remain in our lips and that we always give worth to the salvation in Jesus. May we have a, a week of victories in your presence, Lord. That your angels may be sent to minister your acts of justice in our behalf and that we may see your glory. That we may have direction, and comfort and consolation and your good hand be with us in the prayer that we ask, make in the name of Jesus. In your name we say that the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God our eternal Father, and sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit be poured out upon us now and forever. Amen. The church may be seated. We're going to initiate now a period of assistance. If you identified with any part of the service, if God spoke to your heart and you need prayer, we're here at your disposal. The pastor, the deacons and workers, the church will be interceding and that you may receive the, your complete blessing tonight.